Now, this Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant from Downey lost his fight with COVID-19, and now 16 of his colleagues have also contracted the virus. NBC4's Hetty Chang spoke with a close friend of the flight attendant about an in-person training session that may be the link to all of these cases. Friends say Jeff Kurtzman loved air travel and adventure, and that he was grateful his job as a Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant since 1986 gave him both. He wanted to do see more of the world, and he was an avid photographer. Connie Flores tells us she was thrilled when her longtime friend, who grew up in Downey, came to Honolulu for work training. And he had told us, I go, how was the training class when we were having our dinner at a Diamond Head? And uh, he was like, some of them, you know, they got a little lax on the second day, but I kept my mask on. I don't want to get sick. Several days after Kurtzman returned home to California, he ended up in the hospital with COVID-19. Hawaiian Airlines confirms Kurtzman was one of 17 of its employees who attended the in-person training in late June and all have tested positive for coronavirus. Flores says even before his death Tuesday, Kurtzman worried about others. He just kept apologizing over, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I know you must be scared. And I'm like, we're good, we're, we're negative. A statement from Hawaiian Airlines CEO says Kurtzman tested positive for the virus in California earlier this month. A spokesperson says they don't know when or where the infections occurred. Hawaiian Airlines says it has strengthened protocols on how they interact with each other and that the training was an FAA required course. Flores says Kurtzman did not express concerns about going to the training, that he was just happy to see his friends and colleagues again. He would almost say, I care so much for other people that it's almost at a fault. So really, we've lost an angel. In Los Angeles, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.